I want to uh, make this little reminder to myself as well. I make these videos just as much for me as I do for others. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, you never get to really hear yourself talk when you're talking. So it's 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 kind of awesome to this little uh, this little uh, uh, maneuvering here. But it's like uh, there's things that God really hates, man, and a proud look is one of them. Uh, you know, just a proud look. You know what I'm saying? And, and look, I'm guilty of that sometimes of getting going overboard, going overkill, uh, getting swept up in an emotional state and worked up. And then, you know what I'm saying? It makes you overdo it. And then, you know what I'm saying? So it, it doesn't catch the wind that it should. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, other people are looking for any reason to discredit you. So you, you, you actually fulfill their, their, their desire on accident. You don't mean to do it, but that's why, you know, it's like, it's always like, listen, when you're fighting with someone, don't make any real uh, decisions at that moment, because listen, you're not in a proper state of mind. You need to regroup for a minute and let the anger go before you make any decisions. So when any will someone makes decisions right after a uh, 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 ego an ego fight because i mean most of the times people fight it isn't really a spiritual thing it's it, it is it's an evil spiritual thing it's called the ego that freaking ego tri the ego tripping trust me i used to do it on purpose uh when i would make music because i that's what it took to generate the uh the inspiration and where you draw in your inspirations from is a very dangerous thing. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're using the wild side to do it, in which I was. I'm guilty of this. And, and I was under this self-hypnosis thing, but it's not really a self-hypnosis. It's more like, look, you're learning how to... You, there's something the Greeks called the muses. And they're basically these, these entities that, that give you this energy that helps uh, you channel inspirations. And they literally just come like out of nowhere. And it's, they're not coming from nowhere there, though. It's coming from that other dimension. It's coming from Cthulhu and one of his puppets, uh, basically. But anyway, God really hates a proud look, but he especially hates a lying tongue, a false witness, false accusations. Be very careful of being, a, a, if you're quick to make accusations, how much easier is it to make a false accusation? Without even knowing it, you may believe in your heart, you're right, you're justified, it's all good, God's got your back, it's righteous anger, right? It's righteous fury, right? Which man on this earth have you met that is really righteous? Like, totally righteous. I'm saying I might meet semi-righteous people, people are righteous at times, but that doesn't mean they can't, they're immune to the devil and his damn tricks and his snares and his fiery darts and his traps. These people forget which manner of person they are. Uh, and that's why God hates it. It's because he's like, man, he's watching. You set yourself up for failure. That's why he turns away because it's too painful to watch. You know what I'm saying? He's got to wait until you simmer down before he can even come back around. Because you don't got yourself worked up, man, over nothing. All in your mind. Let your thoughts, man, get the best of you. You're not taking control of your thoughts, man. And, and, and that's what really the Bible says we must strive to do is keep every single freaking thought under subjection. That's why I drink so much. Because look, it's this, this is overwhelming when, when all these people are trying to influence you in a negative way and you have to cast down every freaking thought. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you got to do something to get your mind off things, man. And that and that's one of the only ways, man. Look, it's one of my crutches that that can't relax, man, because I got the freaking willies with cause, man. It's this isn't this isn't just anxiety. This isn't just uh what is it called, man? Unreasonable fears, man. This is uh this is a f real fucking battlefield, man. Well, what the frick? How can a person not be a little bit charged and excited in the battle when everyone else doesn't even realize it's going on? You're in the battle too, man, but you don't know it. It's scary. It scares me. It hurts. It's painful to watch. Uh, 
And, you know, it's, it, it's painful to watch. It's painful to go through yourself. That's what you're watching. You're watching the things you're going, you went through too. So it's a reminder. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's like a trigger. You know what I'm saying? That's really what they do with NLP. This is how the demons work, man. Through chaining, anchoring, uh, redirection, implanting, sublims, and uh, subconsciously hijacking your freaking mind. So the lying tongue and, and one who sows discord, be careful with your freaking magicianry trying to it's it's what it is is it, it's your expert uh it, it's like when you set that up man for for 